Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Toms and this video series is to teach instructors who don't have an educational background about active learning and incorporating it into your classes. Studies have shown that many instructors and professors at large research universities are mainly hired based on their research content and not always their instructional abilities, yet are required to teach college courses. This series will help you understand a little more about how to engage adult learners and effectively teach the information that is important for your students to know and retain. We're going to start off talking about Fink's taxonomy and its impact on learning and going into active learning. Fink's taxonomy was developed to help in course design and redesign. There are six concepts included to assist when determining how to develop your course. First, all the way on the left, is foundational knowledge. This includes all the topics and information that you have determined that your students should know by the end of the course. Next is application. This is the critical, creative, and practical thinking skill sets for students, as well as any other skill sets that may be important for your students to use and learn from. After application is integration. This is about connecting different ideas that might be from different disciplines. Following that is human dimension which is about students learning more about themselves and bringing significance to their learning. Following human dimension is caring. This is focused on creating motivation to learn in your students by developing interests and feelings toward the course material. Finally, we have learning how to learn. This last area is to provide the ability for students to learn long-term and become self-directed in their own learning. These are all important to keep in mind when designing your course. Now we're going to learn more about active learning and how Fink's taxonomy can play a role in this. Active learning is about making learning and the information more hands-on for students, which in turn will create interest and motivation to learn and retain the information. Studies have shown that straight lecture for an entire class session is not effective instruction and not effective for student learning. If you look at this picture, you notice that this is a small group that everyone seems to be engaged in in the discussion with the teacher. This is one way of many to incorporate active learning into your classes. Active learning is about truly engaging your students so that they have the ability to retain more information. These ways are very generalized and in my other videos we will dive deeper down into these active learning opportunities. Straight lecture or straight readings through the whole class session are not effective instructional techniques. Learning from peers allows students to learn on the knowledge and experience of others. Discussion creates conversation that students can draw knowledge from. Group assignments let students learn teamwork skills that they will use in their careers and other parts of life outside of the classroom. Finally, hands-on learning allows students to fully immerse themselves in concepts and see it work for themselves. They end their work having practiced the concepts and being able to refute, repeat it in the future. In the following videos, we'll talk about other topics in designing effective instruction for your course. Thanks for watching.